ba ba da 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 Hello, and welcome to Tev's TV. Shut up, you're ruining the intro. We haven't gone five seconds into this and you've fucked up. Oh my god, that is the worst intro ever. It's great. Well, that, no, it was going to be a great intro and then you laughed. Oh dear. Ba ba da 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 Hello, and welcome to... Shut up, shut up. Hello, and welcome to Tev's TV's Reviews. Uh, I'm Tevs. I'm joined here by the ever-present John. Mwahaha, hello. And for the first time ever, we are now joined by another friend of mine called Rob. Hello. Well then, uh, well obviously, what has the entire country been talking about for the past fortnight? Obviously the Olympics. What was the big latest the what, Olympic? Sorry? The what, uh, sorry? I'm not sure, some obscure Greek thing that's just making the fads. <laughs> you know, it's, it's for jazzles all over again, so... There's, uh, so we've been talking about the Olympics, uh, the last bit of it has finished, the Olympic closing ceremony. I'm just going to get rid of the elephant in the room here and just ask, uh, once and for all, which was best, the opening or the closing Olympic ceremony? Closing. I think opening. I think I'm sitting on a fence. Well, I mean, I'm sitting on a bed, but I can like put one leg either side of the bed, then I'm almost <laughs> sitting on a fence. Um, no, that's still sitting on a bed, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you think the opening was better, Tom? Uh, I Well, I thought it was just more inclusive. The closing ceremony, while extremely enjoyable, that it was, it, it, it was basically what I was worried that the opening ceremony would be. It was like, so, oh, here's famous Britons, we're all going to dance and we're all going to jump and sing and happiness and uh basic and then you and it's all fine for like a celebration and you know you can live with it but then you compare it to the opening ceremony where we actually you know we had the uh, industrial revolution and we had like multifaceted interpretations of things and it was just a lot more all-encompassing yeah but i think the opening ceremony was to kind of show off the best of britain to the world to introduce the world to the country and the closing ceremony is a finishing party it's yeah, a celebration. Like it's not showing off the country anymore. We've shown off the country over the past seventeen days. Now let's get on and get drunk. I thought right. that the, I thought that the music in the second in the, in the closing ceremony was far superior to the first. And the also One Direction. Apart from that, apart from that, I counted actually because you know you have celebrations of Britainness, of Britishness. You're always going to have the Beatles. Yeah. I counted how many Beatles songs were included in the closing ceremony. There was four, uh, five if you count the fact that Imagine by uh, John Lennon is he was a Beatle, but he isn't actually he wasn't one of the Beatles while recording it. So yeah, I'm but counting that's it. like saying it was Oasis playing Wonderwall, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, good point. Yeah, yeah. So we, we can count it. So you know there was there was uh, but for for the sake of argument, there was four there was four definite Beatles songs that were used in the playlist, and uh, how many with uh, Jesse J? And uh, uh, Jesse J sang four songs good. in the thing. So Jesse J had exactly, in fact, they did all of Jesse J's songs were actually full length. So Jesse J got more representation as an example of British music than the Beatles did. Well, she can kind of sing, so I don't think it's that bad. Yeah, she she wasn't that she wasn't that bad. I mean, there's there was definitely much worse that they could have done. Ray Davis, they, you know. <laughs> Or yeah, Paul they... McCartney in the opening. A good point, well made. You know, <laughs> there was, uh, uh, you know, Engelbert Humperdinck could have yeah. been there as Freddie Mercury. So, you know, <laughs> Russell Brand could have done everything. So, <laughs> all I have to say is, what do I... you think about Eric Idle doing "Always Look on the Bright Side of Life"? Best bit of the entire yes. thing. There was such me. a cheer <laughs> in our house. Yeah. We yes. didn't think yeah. they would. Yeah, especially especially when the fact that they did the uncensored song. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I thought we were, they put I was in the clever about verse that. about. They did that rewritten verse, the new verse about the Olympics or whatever. Yeah. I thought they'd written that to replace to get away without censoring it, and then. And no, then they just went on with it saw. anyway. Oh, awesome! <laughs> Hooray! We're the only country who would do that. I think. We're the only country who would get a song about how futile life is, and about how much death. you, yeah, yeah, how much you just have to endure it, 
and he uh, <laughs> literate with swearing and then what we do we put it on the world stage and we present it as something we're proud of that's that's a that's a uniquely british thing that is what did we think of the uh, brazil section of it when they took I, over and i they... thought it was good but i think that I, it kind of missed out on a on a few things i think um, they didn't have some of the classic songs that they should have put they in. They only had eight minutes. Plus, I do have to also note to people True. that when you were sat there watching Brazil not knowing what the hell was going on, that was exactly how the rest of the world were reacting to our three and a half yeah. hours previous. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so I think I, I actually disagree with your comment about, John, about they didn't put some of the classic songs, because that's what we think of as classic Brazil, which is probably very different to what Brazil thinks I guess you're of right. as yeah. classic Brazil. Yeah. I guess you're right. If I, I guess they have a completely different understanding of... Well, obviously, because it's yeah. their music. It's yeah. almost like but they have a different culture to ours or something. I mean, what the hell? But it's also my different God. from person to person, because I would have put, you know, an, a cream tea, you know, scones with cream and jam. That had to be in the opening ceremony somewhere. That had to wow, be that's why you... Really? Do- that's How would you what, fit that in? That, I, don't, I don't know. And <laughs> now giant crazy. scone and jams run into the stadium. I would have bikes. had, you know, Jesse J bursting out of a scone or something. But I do have to say, Rob, this is why you didn't direct the opening <laughs> ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> and also, because I want to get them in the tags for this video, and because I want to get a whole bunch of basic fangirls in order to watch this so I can build an audience... What did we think of One Direction? I thought that they were the best band in the history of music ever, and much better than the Beatles. You know, so what, I'm going to be honest. Think? I didn't. I don't mind the song. It's a terrible get song. Out. But get out. Get out now. It doesn't deserve to be no, on Moxley, the show. We're going to be positive about this, otherwise there's going to be fango backlash. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fango Evans, backlash. I can't be positive. I can't be positive. Moxley, it's, come on. It's, you it's do... in my blood to, to hate these guys. It's do what I'm doing. Sell your soul. Feel good. It is not. No, I'm sorry. No, no. Okay, it's the most well, generic okay. piece of I, I shit tried. I've ever heard. Oh, I'm sorry. I tried. It's like it's like a complete. It's like someone's put like play doh in a mold and then stuck it through a machine and then you out 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 comes this churn of whatever the mangled crap. Actually, I then... think you'll find that's Nicki Minaj. Oh, okay, okay. I'll give you that <laughs> one. That was, that was good. That was good. Final topic. What were our thoughts of the Olympics overall? Do you want to go first, Rob? Uh, well, you're going first now, boy. Well, you're going yeah, first now because I made the uh, link to you. Yes. <laughs> John's decided I to, to do have made gender. a video about this on my own. Well, we'll have made a video about this on my own channel advertisement. Type. No. Um, it sounds smooth. like this I sounds think... like an advert. <laughs> Subtle, <laughs> Doesn't it really. No, I think. Um, I, well, if, if. By the way, everyone, drink the refreshing coolness of Dr Pepper. Yeah. You can't Dr. trust them and did it with the doctor. Pepper. No, What's the think, worst that um, could happen? I was really, I was really cynical beforehand. I was like, security fail, and there's animals in the opening ceremony. You know what is going on with that? And then, and then there was, you know, a skydiving queen and Rowan Atkinson, and oh, it was actually quite interesting and awesome. And I watched yeah. some of the sport and. Almost felt proud to be British and stupid stuff like that. I saw some of the BMXing, and in the audience was David Cameron sitting next to David Beckham. I didn't know who I felt more sorry for. Yeah, like a conservative from Eton and Oxford and a footballer. You know, where's the common ground there? How? <laughs> what? Where, what did they chat about? Like, one does most like you on the television set, David. It's just, oh, thank you, David. Yeah, yes. You know, Which then... David are you, David? I don't God. know, David. <laughs> <laughs> so how are your kids, David? Well, David, David oh Jr. is fine. God. David Jr. <laughs> it's Owen and Steele all over again. <laughs> That's a reference that the post-90s kids won't get. Um, Someone's been watching Spitting Image. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I think that the Olympics was a nice break in the regular programming for the BBC anyway. Yeah. I, I really... You know, how BBC get into this routine of really shitty shows, like, who wants to watch Cash in the Attic, or... Hey, you know, that's what we're reviewing next week. 
Be oh. quiet, man. Be quiet. We don't want to spoil <laughs> loads. We've actually you got know to those do programs. that now. We do have to review Cash in the Attic next week. The, the, uh, the thing is... is don't that, worry, last you know, episode we said we are going to do American TV. That hasn't happened. Oh, so. right, I, okay. think, I think even though we may not like the Olympics as a whole, loads of other people do. And other people that are watching it from outside the country, it's giving off an impression of you know the event itself. And uh, I think they did a really good job on that. And... Um, the actual opening and closing ceremonies were pretty damn good. Well, that's weirdness. So I think that basically wraps up everything we have to say for this episode. Uh, I say a round of applause for the Olympics. Am I? Am I the only one? Co- oh nope, nope. Go applause. Well, uh, this is the worst applause ever. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, God's sakes! There's always has to be the last person to clap. Let's go be the. Ha! <laughs> Why then? So I can edit this so I win. No, <laughs> just... so uh, this is the that was uh, this has been Tev's TV uh, builds a Minecraft. No, wait a minute, that hasn't been. This has been <laughs> <laughs> this has been a Tev's TV review of the Olympics closing ceremony. Not I have the Spice Girls take that or Queen. No, we haven't. So queen was... yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So this has been Tev's TV reviews the Olympic Games. I've been Tev's. With me has been John. Hello. I mean, no, bye. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> <don't>... <laughs> well, that worked. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Get off! I should... <laughs> and also with me has been with Rob. Rob. Uh, thank you. F- yeah. yeah, Rob. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for. Link watching. our Twitters. No. I did that last time, but it took too long and we lost viewers. Thank you, good. Uh, Link link us. Uh, At John's. We'll be in the description. It's fine. Our Twitters and our YouTube channels are in the description. Uh, Thank you for watching. Uh, Goodbye. Bye. Bye.